uh, air conditioners and, you know, I remodeled her house where she didn't have holes in the floors and had exterminated, you know, put the tent over to get rid of the rats and the roaches. And, and, um, um, I was still her son. So no matter what happened, you know, she still loved me and, and, and adored me. So, uh, our relationship never changed. That's right. There's nothing more powerful than the flesh. Flesh of my flesh. Uh, let's go to Julio in Wyoming. Julio, welcome to the airwaves with Rick Ross. What up, Julio? Hey, what's going on, Rick Ross? Uh, I first learned about you in college when I was a sophomore when I first heard about Alex Jones. And I want to say uh, God bless you for what you're doing and speaking out against the drug culture. Studying media in college it's it's clear we have this predictive program society. Uh, a quick story I want to share, just living in Wyoming for a couple months, uh, I, I've interacted with someone who I work with at my radio station. His brother-in-law, he, he works for a pharmaceutical company, and he legally, I used air quotes on that, legally purchases methamphetamines and cocaine for the big drug manufacturers. And, and they go all over the country to pick up legal purchase, purchases but uh, I, I completely agree with what you and Alex are talking about with predictive programming. There was a movie that came out, what, a couple of years ago, Two Guns, with Denzel Washington and Mark Wahlberg. And, again, they, they kind of just threw it in our face. They just said, admit yeah. the CIA is bringing the drugs in. It's all just f flapping it in our face. They admit the Army, the, the Air Force, they're all doing this. My question to you, Rick Ross, is what's, what's one of the biggest keys for us to talk to the youth about drugs. Here in Wyoming, the Native American culture, they're in a huge rat hole because of methamphetamine use. And, and the Bureau of Indian Affairs, which is basically the, MB, the FBI for, for Native Americans, uh, they're the ones who are helping push methamphetamine use here. So, so how do, how do we uh, talk to, to the people? How do we even engage the police officers? I, uh, Schaumburg, Illinois, a big, big suburb of Chicago, Recently, they've been caught dealing drugs themselves and stealing it from drug dealers and pushing it on the culture. Well, that's it. And, and, and look, they have to stop. They got rid of alcohol prohibition. Now they brought in this new prohibition. And now they want to grab our kids. And it's just there's never enough. And they laugh on TV and passed Obamacare. That's a giant screw job. I mean, this thing is out of control. They're killing the golden goose. Uh, Rick Ross, how do we stop well, well, the drug war? I think what you're doing right now, Alex, is is, is a start. This is how you, you got to get started. Because, you know, you're talking about fighting the 1,000-pound the, the gorilla. And, and you're not going to whoop him, you know, uh, just going head up with him. And, and you got you got to sit down and think and, and talk like Alex is doing right now. And, you know, most people don't even want to talk about these issues. You know, most That's people, right. You got to exactly you got to force it out there till everybody knows. And it's starting to happen. Yeah. And, 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 and once you start to do that, then you can start attacking it. Because w w when people are, are, are dumb and remember how I was, I was dumb and literate. You know, I never read a book, you know, never heard of Alex Jones or, uh, uh, or nothing. I didn't know anything. So anything that somebody brought to me, I went for it. You know, they bring it to you. Oh, this is for you. It's good for you. You take it and use it. And this is how you do it. And, and then you find yourself caught up in stuff that uh, you never thought you could have been. Well, involved. see, my, my dad and mom were big into history. And so my dad would tell me when I was young, no, the government brings in the drugs. Here's the big news, Brzezinski's book where he admits it. Uh, and, and, and when you're old enough, read it. And... I mean, and I just thought everybody knew this stuff, and then there were the police dealing drugs, just like my dad said, and and then I've I've had Serpico on. What do you think about his story? You know, they they just, police shot him in the face. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, because he didn't want to deal drugs. <laughs> I mean, that, that he said the entire New York Narcotics Department then were all dealing drugs. Wow. I said how what percentage? He said a hundred percent. Wow. Everyone he knew, and then he was even letting them deal the drugs. He just said, I won't, and they they still tried to kill him. <laughs> Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Thank you, Julio. Let's uh, go to another caller here. Jacob in Missouri. Go ahead. You're on the air with Rick Ross. Yeah, how you guys doing? Uh, I just got a, qu uh, yeah, a quick question for each one of you. You can just bear with me real quick. Uh, just I don't use this word at all, but this is an epic, epic interview. Of this, uh, you know, just like a workout interview right here. But uh, real quick, uh, Mr. Ross, uh, I literally uh, did a fist pump when I... When I uh, heard you say that you're getting ready to do something with uh, Professor, Professor Griff. I have four brothers. Uh, a couple of us, you know, we're so much alike, we don't get along. A couple of us, we, you know, we don't see eye to eye on everything. But we look and act just, we have to drop our, our, our differences. Uh, I mean, what, what comes next is, is my question to you, and then I have a question for Alex, too. Uh, 
What's next, though? Can you just get with people like Immortal Technique, KRS-One, and just combine? Like Everybody needs to organize and get together. Well, I agree, but Professor Griffiths wanted to work with me, but I've gotten too busy. We need to get in the system's face, and because they want to control music and say, we know you're doing it, here's the master plan, here's how you laid it out, and people don't put up with these gangbangers anymore. They're nothing but soldiers of the New World Order to destroy our communities. People need to laugh at these gangbangers, not make them heroes. That's my point. Sorry. Yeah, I agree with you. That uh, um, We definitely got to do that, hit them right in the face. And, and and like I said before, what Alex is doing right now, you know, most people won't even talk to me. They don't want to sit down and debate with me what happened in my life and, and, and what I went through. What they want to do is just say, oh, you're no good two-bit drug dealer. Um, you should have stayed in prison for the rest of your life. You know, you shouldn't even be out of prison. Uh, they don't want to look at the facts, you know. Uh, why I didn't learn how to read till I was 28 years old. Uh, why was the school pushing me through? And, 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 and these are the issues that need to be dealt with. You know, why are there 600,000 uh, black men, just black men? And why this country has 2.2 million people in prison right now and I think like 50-something million on paper? It's unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Final segment, we may do some overdrive. With The Real Rick Ross, I'm Alex Jones. This hour of GCN programming is proudly sponsored by BlockItPocket.com. Protect your privacy and data and render your phone or device completely undetectable. Go under the radar when your phone's not in use with BlockItPocket.com. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. A lot of people's lives and bodies are out of balance. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops optimize pH level and get rid of harmful waste and acid. Just a few drops in water restores vibrance and energy and gets you back in balance. Now order two bottles and get $10 off your order. Sign up for monthly auto shipping and save 25%. Call 800-518-7615 or visit alkavision.com. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at alkavision.com. The Genesis Communications Network is one of America's premier broadcasters of captivating talk radio. We thank you for listening. Now, now, just imagine, there are thousands of people who are just as passionate about radio as you are. But what you may not realize is how easy and affordable it is to advertise with us. Radio commercials for your business could be heard on hundreds of radio stations across the U.S. every day. We can help you by creating an effective radio advertising campaign for your company. From script writing to producing your commercials. Just like the one you're listening to right now. No other network provides the level of customer service we do. When it comes to radio advertising, we are your one-stop shop. And no matter how big or small your business is, we can help. Email us at advertise at GCNlive.com and an experienced advertising executive will help you take the first step towards driving more customers to your business or website. Advertise at GCNlive.com. Easy, affordable, effective. On the eve of Thanksgiving this year, I was thinking, what am I really thankful for? And I got to tell you, it's my family. It's all the blessings of liberty that our forebears secured. And it's you, the listeners of the broadcast, who've made everything we do possible. This Black Friday, I decided to bring you the biggest special we've ever offered on any of the nutraceuticals at InfoWarsLife.com. I'm talking about silver bullet colloidal silver that we've been sold out of for months. This time, I doubled down and got even more. As of me taping this, on the eve of Thanksgiving, we have already sold half of it. So instead of keeping the price at its regular discounted price, we are going to give you 20% off and free shipping on single bottles. But if you get four bottles, we're going to give you the fifth one free and the free shipping. I don't know how long this special will run, but if supplies last, we will extend it out until Cyber Monday. You'll find powerful nutraceuticals like Silver Bullet and others at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Again, this is Alex Jones wishing you all a blessed and happy Thanksgiving and thanking you all for your support of freedom. We're back, folks. We're going to do a little bit of overdrive so we can get to more of your phone calls. Stephen, James, Mike, Mark, and others. But before we go any further, some really good Twitter questions are coming in. Texas Command Center and the heart yeah, that's right. Resistance. I forgot that had a liner. Jones. It is Alex Jones. Thanks for joining us. Uh, so many good questions here. Here's a question uh, that I want to get to. 
Have you ever reached out to big artists about deglorifying drug dealing, i.e. Jay-Z, et cetera? And if so, what was their reaction? Well, I tried to reach out to everybody in hip hop about us coming together and changing this culture and so forth. Nobody would touch me. Uh, did have a meeting with Dr. Dre and brought up the subject and uh, I was cut off. Really? Yeah. So right now I'm out on my own. Um, you know. So the man, I mean, people know, you talk about this, you push this poison culture, or the big boys aren't going to put you on the radio. Oh, absolutely not. They're not going to touch you. You start doing the things that I'm doing, uh, you know, I, I have to sell my T-shirts, and I bought you one of my shirts, too. Thank you, sir. I have to sell my T-shirts and, and, and my books to pay my way around the country. Good-looking shirt. Let me ask you a question. How do folks book you to come speak to their college, or their church, or their high school? Uh, they can get me on Instagram or Twitter or, or, or my, my, my website, uh, rickrossbooks.com, uh, Freeway Rick uh, website, and they can, uh, they can book me there. I'm going to wear this shirt. I hope it's an extra large. It is. It's an extra large. Oh, they told you I was big. Okay. The real Rick <laughs> Ross is not a rapper. I tell you, I'm going to wear this shirt. And it's a nice shirt, too. Good looking you feel the quality? I love that fabric. Yeah, I use I use some nice cotton because I know we like nice things. So so I hooked it up. And uh, I, I think it's important that we send a message to all these guys. You know, everybody who, who's, who's promoting this drug culture. Uh, I like the fact that Mark Dice, one of our contributors, uh, he really goes after Rick I Ross. I love Mark. I love Mark. <laughs> He's awesome. Well, so you know who he is. Good, good. Yeah, I know who Mark is. Mark is, is wonderful. You know, he hits me up on, on Twitter and Instagram, and we talk about the whole Oh, nine yards, and, and he went in on the rapper for what he did, you know, and what he's doing. And I think more people should, you know, we, we should not only, and not only go. He stole your identity to sell kids on going to prison. That's got to make you mad. Yeah, it should. should make everybody mad. And not only mad at him, but mad at the radio stations, uh, uh, um, uh, Mad at the, the 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 Universal and Warner Brothers. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think adults know what's on, what's in this music. Um, let me ask you another question here. I know it's a lofty task, says Brandon Bula, but will we ever see Gary Webb's uh, third book, he, the person says second, but it would have been his third book, put out by InfoWars, The Real Rick Ross. Yeah, I tried to reach out to the family, but they were so scared they never talked to me after they killed him. Uh, wh wh whatever happened to that book? Uh, I don't know. I mean, you know, I was still in prison when, when all that happened, uh, so... Um Maybe you're the guy to reach out to the family. Have you talked to him since the movie premiere? I spoke to, no, not since then. I spoke to the wife uh, at, at a link. You know, we talked for about 15 minutes because uh, it's the first time that we had time to, to, to sit and talk out, outside of prison. When I was in prison, I spoke to her on the phone. Uh, so maybe I should. I got her phone number now. So maybe I'll reach out to her and ask her uh, if we can get those notes. And well, he had a whole book written and he sent me a disc, but it got lost and everything. It, it was Would just you be all willing this. to help do that? He was, he, listen, the last time I talked to Gary, uh, I was busy. I said, man, everybody knows the government deals drugs. I've had you on the show. I want to get you on again. He's like, no, not till my book's out. And they called back a month later. He goes, listen, I gave you all those documents. Put them up on the site. You know, I need somebody to put this stuff on an internet site. And I was like, uh, okay, but, uh, and then he was like, he, he didn't really cuss a lot. But he's like, damn it, when you're ready to do something about this, you give me a call. Bang. And I'm sure somebody probably got those notes now. Though. I, I'd be surprised if his wife still has that stuff. But he was passionate. I mean, he was telling me, you need to you, you need to get up. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, Gary was he was willing to die. I mean, Gary told me before that people have died for going down this road. You know, I mean, he's like, hey, Rick, when you go down this street here, you know, like I know going down this, the drug street selling drugs, you could get killed. Well, Gary told me that there's been people that went down the same road that he was going down that gotten killed. He told me that. Yeah, people like Gary Webb are true modern day heroes. And so you are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. When you're out on the road, the last place you want to be is on the road. But if the unfortunate happens, you'll be glad you were wearing diamond gussets. There's a place down in Tennessee where they make blue diamond gusset jeans. They so pride in every stitch. Guarantee you love the way they fit. They put a diamond gusset in the crotch where you need it most. Blue diamond gussets got it. Others don't. 
We turn jeans inside out. Diamond Gusset Jeans. Made in the USA with unparalleled quality. Our Defender motorcycle jeans combine gusset comfort with Kevlar protection.